Give me the bread. <laughs> What's going on, baby? You are now tuned into the Way Back When podcast, a reflection upon the golden era, our golden era. Back in the days, back, back in the day, back in the day, back, back, back in the day, back in the day. What's going down, baby? You are now tuned into the Way Back When podcast, a reflection upon the golden era, our golden era. At this moment in time, you already know what it is. You already know who it is. You know what I'm saying? Dopest dude on the podcast, Mike, you've seen since 1917. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's that boy, Young Dizzle Stacks, in the building. You know, uh, got my player partner. You know what I'm saying? He's back from the shy rat. You know what I'm saying? Just joined top flight security of the world. I must he must he must have seen some things over there. You know what I'm saying? To, to join top flight security of the world, you must want to make a change. You already know who he is. Money B, what's up, dog? Keep my flashlight and my whistle handy, just in case. You know? <laughs> Two German shepherds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you already know what it is, man. We got actor, actor in the building, producing, producing. You know what I'm saying? Doing it fly for 2022. What up, actor, actor? What up? What up? Well, Dees, we got a, a very good show for y'all uh, this week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, appreciate all the love y'all showed us on last week's show. You know what I'm saying? First show of 2022, you know, starting it off with a bang. You know what I mean? Had a lot of mentions, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shout outs and whatnot. So, you know, we got a we got a back door with another dope ass episode for y'all. You know what I mean? But uh, shit, man, let's let's get into everything, man. Money B, how, how was how was the weekend, man? Holla at me, play up. Oh, it was good, man. Like you mentioned, went to Chicago, uh, had a good time, gained a lot of weight, probably. Uh, walked it off a little bit, saw some snow. Okay, okay. Um, I do got a question, though, man. So, all right. It's kind of a serious question. I don't want to get political or nothing, but so I've been doing a little traveling, right? You know I, you know how my schedule is, AD. I'm, I work a little bit, off a little bit. So, yeah. when I'm yeah. off, I try to do some things because I don't know when I'm going to be off again. So, for sure, for sure. It, you know, COVID's getting, you know, crazy again, but like, you know, I'm vaccinated, you know, mask up. Yeah. Uh, you know, everywhere you go there, you need to have a vax card and, you know, they take all the safety precautions and shit, right? Okay. Okay. So, I don't know if y'all heard this or you even thought about this, but I was thinking. So, I got my vaccination. Mm hmm. I don't got the booster, though. Okay. So, is the booster like the hot sauce in the condom? <laughs> I see what I okay. Okay. I see, yeah. Yeah. Cause what one of my homeboys that told me is like, damn, you just be traveling, you're not worried about COVID. And I was like, nah, I mean I'm I'm worried. Like, you know, I'm worried like just like anybody. It's we're we're, we're into it though. And you know, I know people that it's not like I'm saying it's fake or nothing, but I'm taking the you know the steps, the safety steps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not out here raw dogging. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, uh, you know, you I'm can't just be raw. Dog. You can't just be raw dogging fresh air right now like no, that. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, don't, I don't got the hot sauce with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's that. I I think you're about right. You know, what I'm saying the booster would be the the hot sauce right. uh, for the corona spermicide. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the the booster is the hot uh, hot sauce, the corona spermicide, the coronavirus. I would think so, so man. That's just a thought, yeah. just a thought, you know. Yes, I feel I feel the connection. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel yeah. I feel you knocking there. You know. Yeah. But besides that, you, like you know, I'm just out there. It's, it's you know, it's, I've never been to Chicago. I don't know if y'all been, but it's it's a badass city. Um, I'd like to go back in the summer when it's a little bit cooler. But it was cool to see the snow and all that and eat all the good food. Shit yeah, shit yeah. I know that boy was eating all the pizzas, nigga. Mm. All the pizza pies, boy. I'm still putting it out, dog. Fucking saucy. Yep. <laughs> Had me real horny looking at those pictures. Oh yeah, man. It's real good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good yeah, ass but pizza yeah, pies. Was, it was a great weekend. Great weekend. Uh but besides fucking yesterday, but uh, I don't even want to talk talk about it, boys. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get into it. Okay, I'll let you do that. Yeah. I'm gonna get into it. Hector, uh, how was your weekend, my G? It was good. We didn't really do much. We uh, 
went to a pamper party or like a baby shower party on Saturday, wore a mask, you know, felt real. Yeah. I was the only one. Me and Mary Jane were the only ones wearing masks. <laughs> That's <clears> always <throat> like the the weirdest thing, too, right? Yeah. It's like, fuck. I don't want to seem like the square one, but I also am seeming like the responsible one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, yeah. We're just trying to hold out because Mary Jane with the baby and stuff like that. So of course, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's like, I mean, like. Everybody has their reasons, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody has their reasons. So it's like, especially, I, like, I can understand why some people who, you know, wear masks and are vaccinated and everything are critical of those uh, who aren't and do otherwise. It's still kind of baffling to me when, like, the ones that aren't are critical of the ones who do. It's like, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. You're a scaredy cat, bro. Like you're a little bitch. You're a pussy. Like you know what I'm saying. Like because because I don't want to breathe in possibly toxins that can give me an illness. Like because, no matter what you say, like oh, it's not gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying. You might not even die. You probably ain't even gonna die. It's just gonna be like the flu. I don't like having the flu. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like you know the the what you call it, some of the side effects is you can't s- taste or 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 smell or whatever. It's like, man, I'm fat, bro. Like, I love eating. Like, I want to taste my food. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't, I don't, I just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, obviously, you know, y'all could probably tell by now. Like, I'm vaccinated and boosted, and I be masking up and shit. And uh, and I mean. There's people that I know that aren't. It is what it is at this point. You know what I'm saying? Do I disagree for the most part? In some some instances, yes. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I'm not going to, like, rag on you or, like, bitch you out about it. You know what I mean? Like, we're so far gone in this shit already. It's like people go do whatever the fuck they want to do. Yeah. But anyways, I'm sorry, Hector. Uh, <laughs> back, to, back to your weekend. <laughs> Yeah, so I was wearing a face shield and a bodysuit. Now, uh, no, so after that, we went to, uh, you know, I'm all talking about a mask and everything. Then we went to the movies afterwards. Or <laughs> <clears throat> we went to go see Scream 5. Oh, yeah. How was that? I liked it. Me and Mary Jane liked it. Mary Jane's a big Scream connoisseur. Okay. Um, they tied in the story really well to the past, okay. really based off the first one. So I thought it was good. Um, my cousin and his wife, didn't really care for it i mean it just is what it is um but i feel like with most horror movies it's like you're old enough now you got to just take movies for what they are and just enjoy yeah. them you know don't overthink yeah. them like i do but um yeah man other than that i mean i ate fucking good on sunday i just binged i went to my cousins and he just barbecued everything with bacon and yeah. ate, every, ate all that <laughs> and uh yeah man and just like money be, I mean, no Yoda is, you know, no tears. I couldn't cry no more for the Cowboys. But yeah, I digress. Yeah. So yeah. That's my weekend. I, was, I mean, it sounds good to me. That sounds like I'll take that weekend. I'll take that weekend. Yeah. I mean, you know, I had a good one on my end too. You know what I'm saying? Uh you just uh Saturday, you know what I'm saying? We kicked it in in H time, you know what I'm saying? Uh hit up a couple of spots out there, you know what I'm saying, masked up. <laughs> I don't know why that's the theme of <laughs> I, I guess mask and hot sauce boosters and hot sauce are the theme of the yeah. show. Yeah. Um <clears throat> but yeah, you know, you're saying we hit up a couple spots in H Town, you know what I'm saying? Show my face, you know what I'm saying, show the stilo and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And so that was big Gucci and then uh you know, watch 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 a lot of football, man. I was so excited for you know just this weekend in general of football. You know what I'm saying? The the Bengals and Raiders game. That was a good game. Watching the Patriots get the shit smacked out of them. Yeah. Watching them get curb stomped. You know what I'm saying? That was that was a great, great game. The Bucks and the and the Eagles. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't too great. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and then of course we have the Cowboys game. Um and you know, for um for a, a, you know for just regular fans of football in general, you know what I'm saying? You know, that was probably an entertaining game for them. You know what I mean? But 
uh, for Cowboys fans, you know, that was just that was typical, typical Cowboys game. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little bit of heartache. You know what I'm saying? Uh, come out, play like shit. You know, then they come back, make you think they, they're in it. They got a chance and then end up just breaking your heart at, at the very end and doing and just doing some things that you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? But, you know, I, 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 at, at this point, I was I was fucking embarrassed, man. I don't know about y'all, but I was fucking embarrassed because it's one thing for your sports team to lose. At the end of the day, it's 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 a sports team. It's a game. These are other grown men. But over the past few years, these cowboy fans have been making us look real bad, bro. <laughs> real bad. Like crying on national TV. Like remember a couple years ago, I think it was Thanksgiving <laughs> last year when we lost on Thanksgiving and it was a homie and he had on like his Witten jersey or something. He was like crying, like bits over crying and his yeah. girl was like consoling him and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, come on, bro. Like, come on. And then Yesterday, they were showing all kind of people in the crowd, like tears streaming down the face. The chick, they that Mexican no chick, did. was crying hard, bro. Yeah, like what the? All right, what what if they took that out of context? Like, what if she got a bad call? Like in the middle of the away? game? Yeah. <laughs> what if she Your just mom. lost? She just lost her job, yeah. and she yeah. happened to buy two thousand dollar playoff tickets to the Ooh, Cowboys game. Yeah. And put five grand down that the Cowboys would win. <laughs> yeah. It was just out of context. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. But here's my thing. Okay. Let's, let's, we keep it real with you over here on a way back when podcast. All right. We keep it real with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to spit that fuddy duddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to spit that trio spill to you. You know what I'm talking about? The Cowboys have really not won anything in 30 years, 20 yeah. years at least, 20, 20 25 years and since we, you know, actually won something. At this point, we know we know what's we know what the deal is. There's no reason to go in with our hopes up like that each year in year out. At this point, the relationship between Cowboys fans and the Dallas Cowboys is literally like the relationship between your hometown Hoochie Mama and one of her five baby daddies. Like, you know that nigga ain't shit. You know that nigga ain't shit. You're her first baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? You know that nigga ain't shit. You know he gonna keep messing up. You know he gonna keep cheating. He gonna come around, you know what I'm saying, once or twice throughout the year, you know what I'm saying? Break you off with a little dick, you know what I'm saying? Might buy a couple things for the kids, you know what I'm saying? And then he gonna split off, dip off with another female or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Why you why you keep getting your hopes up on him, boo? Cowboys fans, why we keep getting our hopes up like this? Ain't no need to be crying over this man. Ain't no need to be crying over this man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we don't got to stop loving them. You know what I'm saying? You can have love for the man. You know what I'm saying? But just keep it moving. We ain't got to be sitting up here crying over this man. We don't got to be sitting up here crying over these cowboys. Because they do this shit all the time. Like, this shit is not nothing new. We just gave Tyrone his 18th chance. And Tyrone <laughs> keeps messing up on us. What are we doing, bro? It's like baby boy. He puts the rims on the car. Yeah. The- yeah. <laughs> but really, he wasn't shit. He really wasn't yeah. shit. Yeah. He really would not shit. Here and there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He might have went over that chick's house. And he didn't technically cheat, but he went over a house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of seeing memes of Cowboys fans crying after games, bro. It's not, it's it, like all jokes aside, it's not that serious. Like, p- 
please stop making us look bad. Just please, that's all. I, that's all I ask. The Cowboys already make us look bad enough. The fact that we're crying after games and getting mocked on social media, and now I got to come on here and defend us. Like we just hard. We just love hard. We just love hard. You know what I'm saying? Like hashtag love hard. <laughs> Okay, Cowboys, Cowboys fans just are blessed hard lovers. Blessed hard lovers. <laughs> Hashtag love hard. I like all the, the TikToks about uh I saw one that was like not only do the Cowboys have to deal with the refs interfering with the game, but now they gotta deal with this damn slime all over the field. They kept showing the nickel. <laughs> <laughs> they had two things working Just against them. Down, yeah, down. they had that slime monster <sighs> that they had to face yeah. too. So yeah, man. <laughs> It, just, it I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, Cowboys Super Bowl 2023. That's all I got to say. Yep, next we always that's got a, next year. Yeah, that's next year y'all in trouble because they coming back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they coming back and they winning it all next year. You know what I'm and saying? It, it was it was cool because like, you know, even like Sunday coming back, I had my house repping, you know, at the airport and all in the morning in Chicago. Yeah. And yeah. I, I thought I was gonna get hate. And a lot of people like, yeah, go Cowboys. Even yeah. People from- Chicago, we're talking, you know, but so I was like, damn, it's gonna be a good day, you know? Hell nope. yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, bro, bro, I threw on some Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I need something. What's gonna give us some good vibes for the day? I need some good, like, championship, yeah. some winner, some winner energy, so. you know what I'm saying, for the day. I threw on some Wheezy, Drought 3, Wheezy, you know what I'm saying, where he was just going stupid on every track, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that's 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 the mood for today. That's the move for today. You know what I'm saying? The next thing I know, we were down 16-0, and I was like, well, oh. all right then. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm sitting there at the baggage claim looking at my phone. I was like, son of a bitch. I'm about to take this jersey off. <laughs> I finished watching – I was watching fucking Fast and Furious 29 or whatever it is in the airplane. <laughs> I, that, oh, that's a whole other thing. Dog. They're in outer space and shit now. I, that movie's a trip. <laughs> I had to add that to shit you should have seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen any of them, but there's like 38 of them or some shit. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw the first one. Did I see the first one? Yeah, I saw the first one. I don't know. They're pretty much superheroes by now because Vin Diesel's like fucking holding 20 guys back <laughs> at one time, pulling like walls down with chains and they're like flying and it's a fucking trip. He's also like 45, 50 years old, ain't he? Yeah. He, yeah. He, 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 <laughs> but he's, he's old. He's got some good dance moves, though. Oh yeah, and, and singing. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, the, uh, that, yeah. So I was at the airport, you know, with my jersey. I was like, "Yeah, today's gonna be fucking good, man." Oh, nope. Man. Nope. Well, <laughs> well. I don't know. I don't know. Yep. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Cowboys fans, let's just let's just be better. That's all I got. Let's just yep. be better. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, Money B, man. Go, go ahead and break us off with some of that way back when news, my G. Yeah. And now, way back when news with Money B. All right, man. Let's run through the birthdays real quick. We ain't got too many, but uh, let's see. We got a few notable ones. January 14th. Happy birthday to Byron Leftwich. Byron. Byron. Yeah. Byron. Shout out to Byron Leftwich, man. Uh, I don't know if I told this story on the podcast, but shout out to Casey James. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but back in high school, they used to call me Byron Leftwich because I can't, I used to always come through with a Byron Leftwich jersey, dog. And nobody, yeah, nobody ever had that hoe, dog. And I was like the only, besides uh, Casey, I was the only black dude on the baseball team and everything. And so, you know, I always came through rep and they was always calling me Byron. Every time I walked in the building, Byron, Byron. <laughs> that was supposed to be stupid, but yeah. Shout out to Byron Leftwich. Hope that boy gets a, a head coaching job, you know what I'm saying? Coaching year. Yeah. Because they're talking about him. So. The, I don't know when it was. It's been maybe a few years or so. so when they, they mean, like, whenever he was getting carried down the field, he played in college. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. That shit was so funny. I forgot what it said. It was something about, you know, something about be his king or some shit or be his queen. <laughs> that cares, you know, that Bless up to Byron. Many blessings Bless to that up. boy, Byron. 
<laughs> All right. Also, the same day, happy birthday to Jason Bateman. Uh, man, man, he, he's fucking underrated as fuck. I think. Very, very underrated. I, I very. Agree. Yeah, man. I mean, in like all kind of like genres too, right? Mm-hmm. Like drama, comedy, like yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. he's the shit, bro. Uh, I can't wait for fucking the next season of Ozark. I think it's gonna be the last. One. Yeah, yeah. This uh, this upcoming one's supposed to be the last one, but yeah, that yeah. bitch is fire. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, January fifteenth. Happy birthday to Regina King. Our queen, our queen, Miss Regina King. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Bless up, Queen. Bless up. Um, I fucking found it funny. I'm, I'm always gonna remember her as the, uh, from Poetic Justice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was like the that, that's the only like the first movie I remember her in. And then like to see what she is now, and she's like on Cadillac commercials and shit. It was like yeah, man, hell yeah. Look, come up. Yep. Yep. She did that. Uh, that's- I mean, we need to cover Poetic Justice. I don't think we brought it up on here. Poetic right. Justice is a hood nigga movie, bro. Oh, that shit. That's probably gonna be our next one, like movie one. Then, why is I'm gonna go with that? Yeah, because yeah, we are doing movies next episode, actually. Okay, so. I'm already calling it. All right, you calling that one? All right, there you yeah. go, Woody. Yes, sir. Uh, same day, happy birthday to Young Dro. Huh, Young Dro. Man, shout out to Young fucking Dro, dog. Uh, man, I was listening. What, what Young Dro song was I um, listening to this weekend? <clears throat> West Side, Bankhead. That's where I'm from. Oh, Everything yeah. y'all did, I done done. My wrist game, my true game. You can't touch that shit. Talk about fuck me. Hell no, nah, fuck that bitch. Hey, fuck that bitch. <laughs> fuck that bitch. Hey, dog. <laughs> Shout out to young fucking Dro, dog. That boy had bars. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. Uh, fuck. What is the rubber band bang zero? Well, no, is that what? Yeah, yeah that was, right? that's him. <laughs> yeah. Or how yeah. about um uh, on uh on Aina Aina Aina? Yeah. Hell yeah. Nah, he killed that Aina. What he said. Uh, uh we fuck. We rode voices. Fuck. We rode Ferraris, the cars with the horses. And then the background yes. goes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't I Rob Hill? Ice dirty below minus the wind chill. That oh boy used to go hard, dog. Yeah, I, there, there's so many fucking lines of his. Like, I, that one song, I just forget. It's just like the whole verse is like. Just yeah. Shit, yeah. What the fuck, man? This is not fair. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, same day. Happy birthday to Mr. Worldwide. Pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. Dale. <laughs> Shout out to Pitbull. We've talked about Pitbull on here, man, and just the, you know, saying the transition that he made and all the shit that he's yeah. done. You know, what I'm saying. Kula. My favorite Pitbull song right there. Yeah. Uh, I, I played the other day for Mary Jane. We're driving. Was damn it, man! Damn it, man! Yeah. See them boys running away. Damn it, man! That's just so funny. So I have. What do you say? Something about putting her mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> dog, Pitbull's a fucking G, dog. Yeah. Shout out to Pitbull, bro. <laughs> Did y'all see the meme of Jeff Bezos where he's like dressed like in both pants? Mr. Worldwide Shipping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. January 16th. Happy birthday to Aaliyah. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to the goddess Aaliyah, man. Hell let's yeah. See. Let's see. January 14th. Happy birthday, Hello Cool J. Mm. Ladies love cool, cool James. I almost say cool Todd, but that's <laughs> that's his last name. Yeah. Mm. 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 I've been, I've been, I've been licking my lips like LL Cool J since 1998, boy. Mm. I mean, did did any of y'all ever like uh, pull up y'all's track, you know, like the track suit, like legging up to the knee, like dog? Like he would wear it, dog. Ask Peanut. Ask, ask Josh. I used to do this shit at baseball. 
I, in baseball games, I'd have one leg up, one leg down, like LL dog. <laughs> yeah. Poor nigga. I always uh, yeah, remember bro. him wearing it like that on that show in the house. In the house, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That boy always had a wave cap on with no hair. Oh, Poor yeah. nigga. Poor nigga. Yep. Alright, um, let's see. A couple more. Uh, January 17th, happy birthday to Jim Carrey. Oh, man. Okay, so back to movies. Like, we haven't talked about any Jim Carrey movies yet, so. No, and I was just watching Me, Myself, and Irene. So. Oh, fucking classic, bro. That movie's so fucking funny. So I think for movies, all right, so you're going to do Poetic Justice. I'm either going to do Me, Myself, and Irene or The Cable Guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah. That's, that's where it's at. That's what, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing next week, Bodie. so be ready. Yeah. Those are good ones. Uh, let's see. Re- real quick, did y'all ever hear the story of uh, like Jim Carrey and the $10 million check? No, no. Nope. Mm-hmm. So back in the day, he went on Oprah, and he was always he's always real big on like manifesting and stuff like that, right? He said like in the '80s, he would drive up like Mulholland Drive and just park and just look at the houses and just visualize himself there. Hmm. And then he wrote himself a check for ten million dollars, and it said for future acting. Uh, I forgot what it said for future acting gig or something like that. And he dated it uh, Thanksgiving, nineteen ninety five. And on the show, it's just conflicting how many years it was. He says three years, some say 10. But uh, he put it in there and he put it in his wallet and he kept it in there. And he said, sure enough, like a few weeks before uh, Thanksgiving 1995, he got offered Dumb and Dumber for $10 million. Wow. And the story is, is his dad, you know, was never rich, always wanted to be rich. So he put the check in his dad's uh, pocket whenever he passed away uh, later wow. that year. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah. I'm going to call my bank and get a checkbook tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, he, no, he spent all your money at Chicago on Chicago pizza. We see Gino's 10 times. He, he did say you have to work on it. He's all, it's not like you can write a $10 million check and go make yourself a sandwich and just eat and wait for $10 million to come. But <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. I turned the video off after he said that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, that's, that's <laughs> a couple awesome. more. Uh, January seventeenth, happy birthday to Little John. Okay. <laughs> Bless up, Little John. Bless up. <laughs> so, yeah. I think he's now like into like more EDM shit, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Little John out there getting that paper. Mm-hmm. He's papered up, sir. Last one, uh, January twelfth, happy birthday to Dontrell Willis. Dontrell Trillis. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Shout out to Dontrell Willis, man. He was uh he was so dope watching the play, you know, back back in the late. Uh, he would be he was more mid early to mid two thousands. Yeah. Yeah, early to mid two thousands. And Dontrell Willis was so fun to watch. You forgot to mention uh, Steve Harvey, Brian. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. His yeah, yeah. birthday. Yeah, that's uh, right. You know, in the honor of Jim Carrey and Steve Harvey, he <laughs> does match up pretty well as the mask. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, that's fucked up, bro. Those between those and like his outfit pictures, they've been fucking face photoshopping him on all kinds of different fucking people. Oh, that boy been stunting, dog. Yeah, he has. That boy been stunting. That, isn't there one that's like Stone Cold Steve Harvey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Yeah. It's a mess, man. Oh, shit. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got next? Oh, a couple, a couple news articles. Uh, January 16th, 1985, Playboy announced they're going to stop stapling the centerfolds. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, y'all already know what it is on the Wayback Wind podcast. It's it's fuck Playboy for life. But yeah. I do wonder um, what uh, you know what was the direct reasoning behind this? It's like did they were they getting complaints? Probably, man. 
Like, I mean, there's a, how how angry do you gotta be to like write that letter to Hugh Hefner? <laughs> exactly. Like, that's my question. Like, you covered up her belly button with that staple there. Like, come on, get your stuff together. Like, yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> what low uh, lives. So how did this like if they stop stapling the center for what did they do? They just like did they glue? I mean I, I, that was No, they made like the fold out. They made the fold out. Yeah, they still got a staple somewhere, huh? Yeah, at the top of the page though. So oh, like right okay. above her head. Yeah, well, nobody's looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Problem solved. I mean, it could have been right in the face. It wouldn't fucking matter. <laughs> it wouldn't fucking matter, dog. <laughs> if you have a whole staple around her fucking face, I don't care. <laughs> too, too far, Hector. Too far. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> you worry, Ridiculous. What's up? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Ch- Chicago changed you. <laughs> hey, man, he's out there on O Block, dog. He's fucking yeah, ruthless no. now, bro. He's out there getting it, man. Bang, bang. Hey, man. did you do the, the Three Brothers bus tour? Like on the breakup? No. Oh, no, shit. The, I wanted to do the fucking river tour, but there was ice in the river. So apparently, it wasn't <laughs> Yeah. Weird. That wouldn't have worked out too well. I was yeah. the only one standing in line. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, <laughs> January fifteenth, two thousand one. Wik- Wikipedia, a free wiki or content encyclopedia, is launched by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, shout out to Wikipedia because. If it wasn't for Wikipedia, y'all would not be getting a lot of shit from this show. (laughs) Matter of fact, they should be a sponsor for the show as well. That's back to back weeks where we need it. We need a sponsorship. Clap, please. Y'all already know what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'm in them DMs, nigga. Uh, (laughs) Wikipedia, what's up, man? Y'all always asking me for like 10 cents now when I go on the page and shit. Like, Y'all want some money? Come be a sponsor for the show, dog. You know, <laughs> straight up. That, that's just so funny. Like some of the stuff that people go and you know just kind of revise or whatever. Just oh yeah. I think the funniest ones are like after sporting events. It'll be like you know so and so. Like it'll be like let's say the fucking Cowboys. It'll be like Jimmy Garoppolo's son or some. You know, yeah, just, yeah. Like oh, that's just so funny. Or, yeah. Or the oh, reason yeah. why people died or some shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out to Wikipedia, man. Yeah. All right. January 12th, 1992, the highest scoring NCAA basketball game took place. The Troy State Trojans defeated the Vry Hoyas 258 to 149. Uh, is the Vry that university that's on TV? Yeah. Right? That's, that's, that's- yeah. So I'm like, wait, first off, excuse me. First off, how did DeVry when did DeVry get a basketball team? <laughs> right. Like I thought De- DeVry's the one with the oh no, I'm, I'm thinking of Everest College. But DeVry's like pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. Go play like, basketball, man. You ain't doing shit. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, join the team. You ain't doing shit. You over there bumming it up. I know you tore your ACL last year, but it don't mean shit. Come on, stop being a bum with your life. Come join the DeVry basketball team. <laughs> But yeah, the Rise, it was either like the one that was like, it was like one of the first internet ones, or it was like the at home shit. Yeah. I, I remember hearing it, like, didn't take, ever take, like, hearing the Rise series. And so, like, how does this happen? Like, like was this in all in regulation? Were there any overtimes? So, uh, the, the, the whole game <laughs> is on YouTube. Uh, cool. It's an hour and a half. We should do an episode on the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just, just off the quick little research you did, we had to do an, uh, an episode just on the game alone. I mean, yeah. I, I'm. I mean, I'm interested to see. <clears throat> this is like 
score 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 you know, how do you what if we commentate up? the game what if it's just a, a live broadcast of way back when comment commentate matter of fact there's an idea right there for for patreon That's a good idea. <laughs> one of the comments on the, on this video says there's a lot of missed layups and dunks in this game Imagine how high the score would have been if all of those were made. <laughs> Troy State would have likely been in the 300s. Wow. There's obviously but, no defense. Yeah. Like, I mean, what what the fuck is really going on? Like, how do you score 149 points and still and, lose and fucking points? lose? And how and and not only like what what did what did Troy State have? Like 200? They lost by at least 50. They lost by 109. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I want to watch this game now. As you say, it's, it was just nothing but um, fucking uh, goddamn. I ain't played pickup basketball in so long. What's um, who are the guys that like don't play defense? They just like chill on the oh, back. Snowbird, snowbird. Yeah, yeah. Was it just snowbird? Yeah. I just nothing but snow burning it the whole game long. Also, right dude, like, man, I don't know, like, who was who was the coaches? Like, what? The, that's just so much questions. So, can I show a quick part here? Yeah, yeah. That Come I was ahead. looking at. So, apparently, this is 1992, I think, right? What it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The very first dab, someone pulled up on here. What? Pay attention right here. Boom. Oh, he did dab on that boy. He dabbed on that boy. Wow. Wow. The very first fucking dab. Yeah, one of the comments said, world's first dab a minute. I mean, one hour, three minutes and 42 seconds. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is a must watch. Yeah. This is a must watch. You got you paid money to go to that game. You got a good show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long was the game though? Um, it looks like it's only an hour and twenty minutes. How in the fuck do you score that many points in an hour? That's what I want to see. Yeah. I need to see the stat line. Like, yeah. Them boys must have been playing with the cartoon legs. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know how like cartoons they start running and shit, like they run in place and they just boom, just fucking gone, dog. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell like this nah. is like I don't even think 2K. Like I haven't seen any games like this in 2K. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Either way, good shit, man. Good shit. Good, good shit. shit Money B, thank you for that way back when news, my G. I, I got one more. I got one more. Okay, okay. my bad. My bad. My bad. I, don't don't pull out the hot sauce yet. I, I didn't mean to prematurely ejaculate right there. <laughs> don't pull out the hot sauce yet. <laughs> I got one more stroke in me. <laughs> <laughs> and it really might be it. Talk about who it is. Might have last stroke. Especially now. Uh, January 12, 2001, Disney Channel series Lizzie McGuire premiere star Henry Duff. <laughs> Did y'all see that picture of her that went viral this week? Yep. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm. It's Hillary with the yams. Duff. With the Hillary Duff making making it buff. Dump. <laughs> with the dump. Ah, Lee, I love me some Hillary Duff. Man. Yes, because you know she's got the new show coming out with my other boo, Francia Reza. Um yeah. Uh sheesh. Shout out to Hillary Duff. Shout out to Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire went hard, dog. I, I, I mean, I already know. I, I know I already uh, brought up maybe doing. I'm, I'm saying maybe now uh, doing a Jim Carrey movie for movies next week. But the Lizzie McGuire movie, that shit slept on. That shit slapped like a motherfucker, dog. I don't think I ever saw the movie. Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of. That shit went hard, bro. I fucked with the Lizzie McGuire movie, dog. I'm t- hey man, you gotta have to watch the Lizzie McGuire movie. I'm just hey, Wodies, shit y'all should have seen the Lizzie McGuire movie. Straight up, straight up. You know Pretty good. It's a it's a, it's a quality movie. It's a quality film. It's a quality film. So yeah, 
They were I mean, Money B. Uh, go ahead, Hector. No, they were supposed to do after the Lizzie McGuire. It was supposed to be on ABC, that primetime show. And it was supposed mm-hmm. to be them in high school. Follow them. Later oh, on. yeah. Yeah. But it never happened. They couldn't yeah, come that, to yeah. a money agreement. But yeah, Money B, you got daughters, so you got an excuse to watch it. I was about to say, yeah, I could put them on the You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not saying, like, I should, like, cup, walk into your house and I just see you by yourself chilling watching Lizzie McGuire movie. But, you know I mean, what I'm hey, saying? Hey, it's going to be tough, man. I don't know. <laughs> I was in college watching iCarly and Big Time Rush. Oh, I mean, for sure, though. I remember them because yeah. my oldest was watching at that. Like, she was little at that time. Yeah, so, I was yeah. watching Victorious. Victorious. And Victorious. And then, and then whenever that iCloud leak came out, she was naked. <laughs> the one where she's just like covering, right? Like covering her nipple or whatever. Yep. Yeah. What? Yep. That was like the first iCloud leak, though. Vic- Victoria yeah. Justice? Yeah. You know what? what? I did not know this. Did you know the Grimace was a girl? Is a girl? <laughs> the Grimace? Yeah, from McDonald's. The <laughs> Same way from McDonald's? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know. No, I no, did not I'm know. just kidding. That's not true. <laughs> I, I I thought he was non-binary. I he was. <laughs> There's got to be something in there. I thought his pronouns or, or its pronouns was he, she, we. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we're drove. We're drove. That's the news, man. That's, that's it. Get the hot sauce. <laughs> Get the hot sauce out. <laughs> All right, Wode. So, um. Unfortunately, uh, Dizzle did not keep his promise, and he forgot to post the dimies uh, this week. So um, we have no dimies to speak about. Um, but I promise, I'm uh, gonna write it myself. I'm writing myself a reminder right now. Dimies. Um, they will be posted, and we will talk about some dimies next week. Excuse me, but before we get into the fix, we got a couple of way back when social posts uh, to 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 discuss real quick on, uh, for the show. So, um, Hector, go ahead and uh, bring a couple of those things up. Yeah, the first one we're gonna go in is uh, an old video you sent me a a good little gem of <clears throat> Drake doing the stinky leg. <laughs> Keep it going. Don't, don't, do not. I'm in. I, I, when, when this first came out, when I watched, I literally watched this for like five minutes straight. <laughs> what if this okay. is right after he hurt his leg? <laughs> Remember when he broke his leg or whatever? Yeah. Oh, cool. oh I thought you were talking about wheelchair Jimmy from Degrassi. <laughs> no. Oh, no. But I, re- I do remember he did break his leg. <laughs> okay, so maybe he has an excuse. Maybe he has an excuse for fucking put the wheelchair back there. Like if it's like it was first time standing up. Oh man. So, so just uh, this. I mean, not disclaimer, but just so. There's a... <laughs> Jimmy's trying to walk and get Jimmy's first steps. <laughs> Jimmy goes to the school dance for the first time since walk- <laughs> discovered he can walk again. <laughs> oh shit! No, so uh, there's a there's a Twitter account called Word on the Road at Word uh, Word on Road Word on Road at Word on Road, um, and they post just a lot of Drake updates and. Drake facts and shit like that, and so then they they posted this this past week of an old video of Drake doing the stanky the the most terrible stanky leg I've ever seen, and I've seen some bad stanky legs. Remember, I went to Texas A&M Kingsville when the stanky leg came out, and so it was a lot of I'm I'm just going to say it. There's a lot of Mexicanos doing the stanky leg down there, and it was not that great. It was not that great. You know what I'm I saying? I was in Cactus Canyon when the stanky leg came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet it was real bad in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man. Um I've seen a lot of bad stanky legs in my life and that that stanky leg right there was downright disgustingly putrid. Wretched. Just a wretched leg right there. <laughs> Very Canadian. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, shouts to that boy for trying, man. He was getting it. You know, 
that's the thing though it's like he couldn't do some shit like that nowadays like with whatever like you know popular dance the dab whatever he couldn't do that shit now because he would catch too much fucking slack you know what i'm saying but that was you know that was probably a time where you know he was just young upcoming you know what i'm saying and having fucking fun like he looked like he literally was having a gay old time you know uh on uh the flintstones song <laughs> we'll have a gay old time you don't understand how happy you have to be to have a gay old time like he looked like he was having a gay old time right there you know what i'm saying so shout out to that boy as long as, he, as long as you're happy drizzy you know what i'm saying stanky legging your way to the top hey i'm not mad at you dog yep one day when we interview him we'll ask him about that mm. yeah for sure for sure for sure write that on the check yeah yeah <laughs> yeah all right what we got next Hector? we have <clears throat> my favorite your favorite everyone's favorite our boy joshua henderson's back <laughs> another message for us about his pogs i can't sleep if a pog ain't close to me can't wait to find me a bitch they don't like nobody but me Fuck social distancing i can't sleep if a pog ain't close to me can't wait to find me a bitch they don't like nobody but me one more time one more time at least. Fuck social distancing i can't sleep if a pog ain't close to me can't wait to find me a bitch they don't like nobody but me That guy is fucking hilarious, bro. We're gonna get him on the podcast. Oh, please, yeah, Hector, can you please make that happen? I'll keep. Trying. I feel like that's very obtainable. Please, we gotta make that happen. I, I just love fuck social distancing. Fuck social distancing. I, I still get Josh ball. vibes from him. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely some shit he would say. <laughs> I need me a paw player. <laughs> I need me a bitch that like me for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so fucking random, dog. Oh my gosh. That's fucking hilarious. All right. All right we'll we got, we'll got one more. One more. So it might be a little hard to see. Let me zoom in. Uh, there you go. Yeah, zoom that bad boy. All right. So um, Disney star Kyle Massey. Um, you might remember him from uh, That's So Raven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he tweeted out this week, "What's my Disney body count?" <laughs> with the emoji, <laughs> with the uh, zipped uh, mouth. If you guess it, I'll like the tweet. <laughs> and the th- and three thinking emojis. What's Kyle Massey's Disney body count? What? Is- <laughs> Why is he such a who a nigga to be tweeting this? Like, I mean, it was like it was. Was everybody at Disney just getting it in? Like, what the hell is? I, I mean, know, that's an interesting question for real, though. Like, because, like, I want to know, like, are they like, <clears throat> are they like on a compound with like everybody? Yet? You know, you can relate to all of them. They all probably run in the same circle. Uh, yeah, but do you really want to? Like, I've never found myself questioning that. Like, oh, how no. many, how many bitches did Kyle Massey knock down over there at Disney? Like. Oh, no. I mean, I don't think that, but for him to say that, that's like, oh shit, no, that's, a good, that's a good point. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. I see, I see what you said now. I yeah. see what you said now. I mean, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's different for me, or different than what from what I'm thinking. Is because I just picture the Kyle Massey from That's a Raven when he was like nine. Like, yeah. <laughs> so my my guess would be like zero. Like, what? How long were you yeah. at this? Like, what? <laughs> That's like beans putting up yeah, something about a body exactly, count, right? Exactly. <laughs> what, if, what if Kyle Massey and Beans are just running through all the Disney shit? <laughs> the moms and everything. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so fucking bad. Beans was hooking up with Ren on the rig. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah. 
apparently Kyle Massey was, you know what I'm saying, hooking up with a bunch of Disney stars. And I mean, did I I should have went back and checked and, and seen and if he liked anybody's yeah. tweet. Yeah, I know, right? No, um, I mean, uh, whatever. This one this uh, one's another one that's my favorite real quick. Oh, here he goes. I ain't fucking you. Real shit. And the reason why I'm still a virgin, y'all, is because if your ass ain't thick, I ain't fucking you. Real shit. And the reason why I'm still a virgin, y'all, is because so if your ass ain't thick. Apparently, he's still a virgin. <laughs> Shout out to Joshua Henderson, man. Yeah. Shout out to Joshua Henderson. <laughs> Back to fucking Kyle Massey, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> okay. So on uh, Pimp C's birthday, I was I think I was going down to Victoria or some shit, and um, I had on um, uh, satellite radio. Bun B has a show on satellite radio. Yeah, show, yeah, yeah. Right. So they had they were like every day it was like him, uh, a couple other homeboys that he has on there, and they were all like saying their favorite like Pimp C stories and shit, and then they oh, play shit. like three or four fucking songs, and they go back to the stories. Damn. So you know, Bun B would come on like, damn, yeah, I remember this time at this concert. You know, Pimp C was always notorious for being late, even though he lived across the street from the venue, or his mama lived across the street from one of the venues. He still showed up five hours late, right? Some shit like that. So they're just all going through all these stories. <clears throat> well, one of the stories was <clears throat> that Kyle Massey was at the studio with Pimp C, and like one—I forget the producer's name. That was there and he's like yeah he's like man that's that's the motherfucker from disney channel like what the <laughs> fuck well apparently like around that time he was the early 2000s he was you know trying to be a rapper or you know had was you know having songs or wanted to be a rapper whatever right <laughs> <laughs> so the guy so man and i forget his fucking name they, they say it like on the, on the, cory mo the there you go there you go so he was he, he said, Yeah, that's the one person from Disney Channel. He's like, Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get my get his picture, you know, for my daughter or whatever. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, look at the studio or whatever. And he goes, That little motherfucker pulled up smoking weed, talking shit. <laughs> 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 and he was like, What the fuck? <laughs> but the whole thing was uh, like he was like he was showing out to like be extra, like to show that he fit in or whatever. Yeah. But he was like, nah, like, I don't think Pimp liked that because he was just like, nah, if I fuck with you, like, it's because who, it's who you are. Don't try to come and, you know, act all, like, you're trying to fit in. Just be, you know, I fuck with you because of who you are already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't try to be extra. But I thought it was the funniest fucking thing. He's like, yeah, he, he, Pimp C took him under his wing for a little bit. And then, he, you know, you know, Pimp died and this and that. And I was like, oh, shit, that's fucking crazy. Well, that there there might be our answer right there. Pimp took him under his wing and he just started I mean, he running. Look like in that picture. He might could play him in a biopic, actually. Right? <laughs> yeah. Ah, damn, man. Yeah. I didn't even think I, about I that. Yeah, that fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, he... Pimp took him under his wing. He just started running through the Disney chicks. I mean, that's what we got to run... That's what we got to run with right there. That's what we got to run with. Separation. <laughs> but anyway, after, after that, uh, Corey Moe was like, nah, I'm not taking my picture with this dude. Fuck this dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's fucking funny. Good shit, good shit. All right, uh, thank you for that, um, man. You know, it's it's that time. It's that time, uh, Woody's. I know y'all have been been waiting all episode for it, and why don't we just bring it to y'all? Y'all itching? Here comes that fixing right now. Ooh, we're gonna have a lot of fixes. We're gonna have so many fucking fixes up in this motherfucker. No diggity, no doubt. I like to bang it up. This is fucking wonderful, Holmes. All right, Wodies, well, and this week, um, or this past week, I should say, we had the 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 BC, not ooh, I said BCS National Championship. That shit is no longer. That shit is no more. That is actually way back when. Uh, we had the college football playoff national championship uh, between Alabama and Georgia. And it was a great fucking game. Actually. Did y'all watch the game? I I did not. Oh man. Y'all missed out. Great, great game. I don't think anybody thought it was going to be a good game. Like everybody was like, uh, it was kind of boring. I heard they had like the lowest ratings um, out of like all the playoff games or whatever, like over the past, the playoff championship games over the past since they've been doing it or whatever. Anyways, yeah. but it ended up being a really good fucking game. 
Uh, so you know, we had to we had to follow the college football route and talk about some some great ass college football games, uh, bowl games from way back when. So Money B, man, go ahead, break us off with the first one. Well, you kind of jumped the gun on mine. I'm going to actually go to the first BCS championship game. Uh, oh, nice. It was 99 Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Okay. So <clears throat> this was the first year they did, like, the BCS shit. So it was, like, the coaches polled a computer. Was it, like, computer rankings or strength of schedule or some bullshit like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was, that was the first time. Usually it was just the coaches poll and the fucking AP poll or whatever it was before. Right. So yeah. this one, there was so much controversy in that shit that they tried to like take that all out. They computerized but, and it, it and everything. Yeah. And it even made it more controversial, but you know, it is what it is. They're never going to figure that out until, you know, start getting the playoffs. But even mm-hmm. then, you know, so and so missed the playoffs because of this or that, but whatever. It yeah. Because their BCS ranking, their, com- <clears throat> their the yeah. algorithm and, you know, yeah. what, I'm what is it? What do they call it now for uh, all the stats and shit? Um, that's playing into you know all oh, sports and shit. Yeah. Um, come on, why can't I think of this fucking word? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Doesn't fucking. Matter. <laughs> yeah. It's not that important. Yeah. Uh, whatever fucking word that is. Either way, uh, the game was between the Tennessee Volunteers out of the SEC and Florida State Seminoles out of ACC. Yeah, I completely uh, forgot about this game until you brought it up last week. Yeah, Damn. it's crazy to think that Tennessee was in a championship game. Yeah, they used to be cool. when, 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 and not with Peyton Manning. No, 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 no. This was um, T. Martin. T. Martin. T. Martin, man, he was cold. And these, like, there weren't even. I mean, there was a couple big names: Peter Warwick for the, the Seminoles. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, the quarterback for them was Marcus Altson. Don't remember him. Yeah. Nah, not really. Uh, Sebastian Janikowski. Yep. Yep. He's a he legend. Was one of the, he was one of the, uh, I think he's like only one of the kickers get like drafted in the first round or some shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. First and only kicker to get drafted in the first round. Yeah. Uh, By the Raiders. Peerless Price. Hmm. That boy Peerless Price. Yeah. Peerless Price is cold, man. Yeah, he had a hell of a game, too. Um, He had 199 yards on four catches. Yeah, he went off. That's stupid. Yeah. (laughs) That is stupid. For 200? Yeah. For 200? The game ended up uh, being 23 to 16, won by Tennessee. That were. Five and a half point underdogs at that, you know, that time that was a big, big spread. Yeah, because that's what I was about to say. I think that, um, you know, Florida State was, you know, I mean, of course, Florida State was a powerhouse. You know, Florida State, yeah, yeah. And Peter Work was one of the best players in the country. Was yeah, was Pillars um, Price, was, was Price a quarterback? He's I mean, a wide receiver. receiver. Well, show, but I should, I'm looking at the thing there, and they have him lined at uh, number seventeen QB. Nope, I'm lying to you. I'm That's T. Down. Martin. I'm sorry. I went over one. There you go. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Florida State's starting quarterback was Chris Winkie. I guess he got hurt. So he got hurt in the oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Championship game. So he didn't get to play. So I mean that's how they got and that that's he was the older guy, right? Like he was like twenty something. Yeah, playing. Chris Winky went uh, I think his senior year, he was like twenty six. Because yeah. he um he yeah, he baseball. got hurt and he wouldn't play baseball. That's right. Yeah. So uh yeah, Florida State went into the game eleven and one. I'm trying to see who they lost to that year. But because you know, there was they were fucking Florida State, man. Yeah. Uh, I just, I mean, I brought this game up because it's so different than what it is now. You know, like, yeah. it's, it's, we've, we've seen it all. We've seen fucking college football teams get screwed over just because the coaches poor or whatever. We've seen them get screwed over by this BCS shit. By the BCS, you know, you yeah. Lose one game. It was so weird. I just remember when they first did it. It was so weird because, you know, you could lose a game, but if so-and-so lost, like, the computer rankings would bump you up. But yeah, you know, uh-huh. Like, it was so Fucking crazy, man. So much drama, bro. So much drama. Yeah. 
It's crazy that you know this is the first one. As I'm, I'm really mad that I cannot think of the the name, the word, or whatever to describe the shit that. Um, analytics. Analytics. There we go. Oh, yes. there what go. a simple fucking word. Am the I hamster drunk already? Going, man. Hamster yeah. God damn. But yeah. <laughs> so like everybody's like in the, everybody's in the analytics now, and this is basically what they did. You know, back in the nineties, it's like. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna put analytics into these rankings or whatever. And excuse me, we're going that's how we're gonna rank the teams by you know, strength of schedule, you know, how bad they beat this team, you know, all this, all these other kind of things yeah. that you know, we didn't all nobody knew what all went into, you know, yeah, these rankings or whatever. And then you would just see some teams get jumped and some teams get skipped out on and never and they didn't wouldn't get a chance to play for a national championship. You know, yeah. So, I think the it, whole thing of because it went into like, oh, if I could, if, if, if and I'm probably I could be wrong too, but it was like if so and so beat so and so by so many points, like, like they'll get this, like they get ranked up this high. So they, yeah. what they were kind of trying to do was like to make everybody play their hardest the whole time. So yeah, yeah, it, it, it like make every game almost count even more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, man. Um, that's you know that's a good game to to bring up. I I don't remember that game like vividly, but I do remember you know parts of it. I remember seeing like I just remember seeing highlights of like uh, Peerless Price catching touch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Catching bombs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just kind of. And that was the year before Peyton, I believe, right? question i think that was right before peyton got there and then peyton became like a superstar there <clears throat> and um but he lost his bowl game he lost his i can't yeah, yeah peyton lost in 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 his game to win the natty i believe oh uh, no he was drafted in 98 so that was a year after peyton year after yeah so Peyton Peyton lost the year before, then they came back and won. Right. Yeah. He didn't yeah, yeah he didn't win. Yeah. Okay. That's so that's what it is. I had it backwards. And Tennessee hadn't been shit since. They literally have sucked ever since. Yeah. Like not worth the shit. I don't think they I I'd be they probably had like one or two winning seasons here and there, but they really have not been worth a damn since then. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't even think anybody that's been drafted out of there lately. And then you think about it, like, back then, Alabama was not good. N- not good. They were not good at all. Yeah. So, I mean, just shows you how, like, shit can flip. You know what I'm saying? So, it's crazy. That's crazy. Yep. I, I like that pick. I like that pick. Man, for mine, um, I'm going to stay at the Fiesta Bowl, dog. Okay. Uh, but you know, I'm a, I'm gonna go about a decade later. I'm gonna go to the 2007 Fiesta Bowl, uh, which is has multiple nominations, uh, and looked at by a lot of people as the best college football game, and that is the 2007 Fiesta Bowl between Oklahoma and Boise State. Um, so this this game, man, um, of course. You know, we already know Oklahoma's powerhouse. Boise State, at this point, we're this up-and-coming team out of the whack, um, mid-major uh, team. <clears throat> I didn't know this, but they they were the first team to ever win, like, a junior college championship, and then they were the first team to ever win a Division One AA championship. So, oh, yeah, so they had – I think they were just like 10 years removed from moving up to division one. A. Uh, yeah. So, you know, they did have like a winning history, but nobody knew about fucking Boise state. The only thing we knew about this team coming like into the game is that they played on blue turf. Blue field. <laughs> yeah. They had the blue field and they kind of had like the cool jerseys. Like at that time, Looking back at them, the hose is whack now, but at that time yeah. they had the, the jerseys where they had like the like the colors coming up the sides of them and shit and everything. Uh, so you know they kind of had like some you know 
uh, some newish type jerseys. They weren't just the old school, like just full solid color. You know what I'm saying? Number team name on the front and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like they all had, like I was watching the game and all their players had their names on the back of their jerseys. Like Oklahoma did it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Which is crazy enough. Oklahoma at the time had Adrian Peterson and this was supposed to be like Oklahoma's year to like go win uh, the, uh, the national championship because this was coming off of, of VY and them winning the natty and then um colt mccoy and them coming out of the natty after that and yeah. um and yeah some i forgot what happened with texas the next year and so texas kind of dropped down and oklahoma stepped up or whatever and they ended up winning the big 12 but ad got hurt like in the sixth game of the season he broke his collarbone so he was out after that yeah. but um anyway so you know coming into fiesta bowl um he probably broke it whooping this kid with that switch. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's fucking funny. Um, but yeah, so Oklahoma came in here as a seven and a half point uh favorite to you know to win the game. Um AD's this is AD's first game back from that injury. So Everybody's basically coming in like saying, like, man, they're they're just gonna beat the shit out of you know this little bitty Boise State team. Like they they can't compare, you know what I'm saying? Um also some I guess cool fact was this was the first Fiesta Bowl <clears throat> not played at Sun Devil Stadium. So like now all the Fiesta Bowls, you know, of course, which y'all know they're they're played at where the Cardinals play their games and everything, the Arizona Cardinals, but back then. They used to be played at Arizona State, Sun Devil, Sun Devil Stadium. So this was it had the kind of, you know, newish look of it. You know what I'm saying? They're playing in this dome. every, And it just looked cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Chris Peterson, who was Boise State's head coach, I didn't realize this at the time, but this was just his first year. So he just took over this program and took them undefeated. I think they were 12-0. Uh, uh, Oklahoma was 12-1. and They had only lost one game. And um, yeah, he took this team undefeated into a fucking BCS bowl his first year. And you know, we know what happens after that. You know, Boise State ends up becoming a you know great program and you know a recognized program, and he goes in and gets a bigger job, whatever. Anyways, blah blah blah. Um, other little little factoids. I mean, look at some of the other players, whatever. Um, damn man, I should have sent this to you so we could just listen to this now, but Man, Malcolm Kelly's freestyle. I did not realize this, but Oklahoma's Malcolm Kelly was on this team. This was literally the year. he. This is the game after he busted that freestyle in the locker room. They won the Big 12 championship. He busted that freestyle in the locker room, and then they went on to, in, to play in the Fiesta Bowl. I didn't realize that. Damn. Can you look that up real quick, Hector? Malcolm Kelly freestyle? Cause I I feel like listening to it now. This is like that fucking good. Where is he from? He's from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, he's from. I, I think he's from Houston, actually. I was gonna say he's got to be from Houston, right? Somewhere around here. Going to get crunk. Yeah. Head back to Longview, Kelly popping trunk. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't even tripping. Yeah. Riding and I'm sipping. Yeah. Yeah. Let me come through four foes that are tipping. Yeah. 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 Watch the trunk crack. Yeah. Yeah. Let me yeah. sit sideways, see me running back. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe AP, yeah. maybe yeah. AD. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't even tripping because we some athletes. Yeah. Yeah. Messing with Smitty yeah. in the summertime. Yeah. He get pissed if we don't make our time. Yeah. But we gon' get it because we got to finish. Yeah. Nebraska horn hustles, man, we diminish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, little. Yeah. I ain't like a skittle. Yeah. I ain't even tripping. I ain't never double dribble. Yeah. I, no. I'm a player from the Himalaya. Yeah. Let me sit sideways, man. Maybe back door. Yeah. Maybe fall off. Yeah. Sipping codeine because I got to kill a cow. Yeah. Let me sit sideways in the big bins. Yeah. Oh, you boys. They my brothers. They my friends. Yeah. I let Co Sumlin. Yeah. I let the stoops. Yeah. Let me sit sideways in the Tudo coop. Yeah. Cause I'm sitting clean. Yeah. That nigga was in that hole, bro. <laughs> he was wrecking that hoe, bro. Yeah, he was. was wrecking that hoe, bro. God damn, man. So yeah, so Malcolm Kelly was a wide receiver on this team, bro. Um, I, I mean, 
Orlando Skandrick. Orlando Skandrick, dog. Cowboys, longtime oh, Cowboys shit. defensive back. He played for he was playing for Boise State at the time. Shout out to Orlando Skandrick. Um, you know, also mostly notable by me for um being formerly married to Drya. Mm. 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 Blessings, many blessings to Drya. Bless up, Bless Queen. Up. Bless up, Drya. Um Anyways, all right, let's let's get into the game. Let's get into the game. So, like I said, Oklahoma is this, you know, powerhouse. Boise State, the underdog. It's like literally David and Goliath, whatever. Uh, Oklahoma has like this crazy start to the game. Um, they give up a bomb touchdown, you know what I'm saying, on a long-ass pass. Then the very next play after the kickoff, the offense goes out, strip sack on their own 15, and then two plays later – they run in a, a touchdown or whatever. So right off the bat, they're down 14 to zero in the first quarter. Um, just crazy, man. Um, Boise State hops out to this lead on them. Oklahoma comes back. You know, they make the game, you know, presentable or whatever. But then Boise State keeps, like, throughout the game, keeps, you know, putting it on them and shit. And it's just crazy because, like, nobody expected them – to be here they no they didn't even expect especially with like ad back like they didn't even expect them to be like in the game you know what i'm saying yeah. never that like when they didn't expect it to be close you know what i'm saying and they're like beating the brakes off of oklahoma anyways again to the fourth quarter um oklahoma comes down comes back from a 28 to 10 lead in the fourth quarter and um so it's like two minutes left like no not even two minutes it's like a minute and 30 seconds left. Uh, score is 28 to 20. Oklahoma throws like this fluke touchdown. Like they're in, they're like on the 10 yard line. Uh, the quarterback throws a pass. It gets tipped by like three people and just happens to go to his receiver. He catches it. Boom. Touchdown. They hit the extra, uh, excuse me, they get the two point conversion and tie it up. Whatever. So it's like now it's real crazy. Everybody's, you know, wilding out because Oklahoma came back and it's like, oh, yeah, that's it now. So they kick the ball off. Boise State's quarterback, Jared Zabransky, comes out first play, throws a fucking pick six. And so now Oklahoma's real wired up because now it's a minute left and Boise State is down seven now, you know. And so it's like just just stop them, boys. And that's it. You know, y'all just came back on from down 28 to 10 or whatever. So, you know, it's real wired up. It's like it's it's already a good game. And you're starting to feel kind of bad for Boise State because it's like, damn, man, like they did all this just to come back and like in a matter of a minute, three plays in a minute, like they went from up eight to down seven. You know what I'm saying? Like a 15 point swing, just like that. And so um, Z- they get the ball back. Zabransky makes a couple of passes, gets them to the 50-yard line, right? Uh, takes a sack. So they end up with a fourth and 18 with, I want to say it was like 20 seconds left. Fourth and 18 at the 50-yard line. And they run a hook and ladder. And it's just drawn up perfectly. And it's like odd talking about this today after watching the Cowboys yesterday try like a lateral, like in the first quarter. It's like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, but anyway, so they run a hook and ladder. Basically, you know what I'm saying? The receiver up top catches a ball and he has another receiver streaming across his face and he just laterals the ball. So that guy and that guy ran it straight in untouched. It was the most absurd. And I'm just, you know, re-watching it now. It's like just, you know, of course, like it always does. It takes you back to that time. Like when you watch that yep. game live, like I remember being on at my mom and dad's house on the couch watching that shit live. Like, what the fuck is happening? Like, damn, they just did that hoe, bro. Like nobody thought they was going to do that hoe, but they just did that hoe. You know what I'm saying? So they go in. They kick the extra point. Boom. We're going into overtime. So we get into overtime. First play for Oklahoma. And remember, like, college 
overtime ain't the same as the pros, especially back yeah. then. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Pros first team to score, you know, wins. College, both teams get a chance to score or whatever. They get it. They yeah, they get a chance at the ball. So Oklahoma gets the ball first. AD first, very first play. AD runs a 25 yard touchdown. Just like, uh, uh, get off me. You know what I'm saying? Gets in. Oklahoma goes up by seven. So Boise State gets the ball. They try like two like trick plays, like right off the bat. It's like they're just letting them hang at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're going, we're going to show y'all everything we got, you know? And the, both of those trick plays don't work. And so they end up getting down uh, to uh, a fourth and two. Um, and they're like on the seven yard line or whatever. Yeah. They, so Zabransi, the quarterback, he goes, he lines up. He starts out at, uh, like in the shotgun or whatever. Then he motions out, lines up as a receiver. And then they kind of run this like wildcat formation before like wildcat was even talked about. You know, I think it was talked about a little bit back like when Utah played with Urban Meyer and shit, uh, yeah. but not so much. Uh, it was still relatively new. They line up at wildcat. You know what I'm saying? Hike it to the halfback. He goes out like he's going to run. Boom. Passes in for a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? So right then and there, like the announcers, like they're going to go for two here. They're going to go for two here. Like they're not going to mess around. They know like they're, they're dealing with the giant. They're, they're going to go for the win right here. And so sure enough, that's what the motherfuckers did. They lined up, go for two for the win. Uh, and they ran what is called the Statue of Liberty play, which is just a G'd up fucking play. When you go back and you rewatch it, like, Hiked it to the quarterback, and he spins, not spins, but he turns to the to his right to, like, throw, like, a screen pass out to his wide receiver, and he fakes the throw with his throwing arm that keeps the ball in his non-throwing arm and just sticks it behind his back, and then the running back takes it and runs the opposite way for the touchdown. And it was just so well executed because it's like it, it just it literally fooled everybody. It literally fooled everybody. Go, go ahead and play it, Hector. Boise State for the win. They hand it off to Johnson. Boise State has won the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. I mean, it was it, it literally fooled everybody. I mean, what a great fucking play. You know what I'm saying? Um, drawn up by, you know, Chris Peterson and his squad. I mean, he literally pulled out all of the, the trick plays at that point. And then to make things even more like Cinderella-like, the they interview the running back Ian Johnson who scored the game winning two point conversion. They interview this motherfucker after the game is over, and he proposes to his girl on live television. And it's like just this whole fairy tale ending or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And it was just crazy. Like she his girl's like the head cheerleader and everything. And so it's like, wow, like. Could anything have gone any better for this guy? Like, not only did y'all win, but you you're the one who scores and you propose to your chick, you know, on live television or whatever. And I, I was just, you know, of course, again, I went and I rewatched all this. Um, and it was crazy watching it because the announcer gives it away. The announcer gives it away like he literally like he's asking him all these questions about the game and and the the guy he's sitting there still in uniform and shit still in his pads and shit but he's got his girl is the cheerleader who by the name uh, by the way by the way her name is uh Chrissy Papa Dix okay so his girlfriend head cheerleader Chrissy Papa Dix uh is on his arm and everything and the announcer is like asking him you know, shit about the game. Like, how did y'all feel when y'all went down? Y'all know y'all had to drive down the field to tie it up or whatever. And he's answering shit. And then the announcer says, um, all right, so, yeah, I know you want to propose to your girl right now. And uh, <laughs> he's like, so I'm going to let you do it. And so he literally gets on one knee. And he's like, oh, he's really going to do it, guys. He's really going to do it. He's like, what? Like, dog, you, he, I mean, he low-key just ruined it for the chick but then again i was thinking about it and it's like i i'm just thinking about what's what may have been going through his head i mean let's think rationally now okay this guy he just scored the winning touchdown 
or whatever to to give them this Fiesta Bowl win, biggest win in school history. And, you know, he's just thinking like, hey, man, you're about to get a lot of buns thrown your way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> you sure you sure you want to do this? Like, you're going to get penny draws tossed at you when you get back to Boise, Idaho. You know what I'm saying? Are you yeah. sure this is what you want to do on, on national television right now? So, um, so yeah, man, uh, that was just that was just fucking funny. I mean, it is Boise, Idaho. I'm not. I never been there. I'm sure there's some dimes there, but it is Boise, Idaho. Maybe it's like, yeah, I think I'm good with Miss Papa Dicks. Give me a, give me a roast beef loaded baked potato in Boise, Idaho, boy. (laughs) Um. (laughs) 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 No, some other, some other shit is lit up, and uh, it's just fucking funny. So, and this is what I was thinking too. I like no lie. When I remember watching this at the time, and I was thinking, I was like, man, good thing. Because the dude, Ian Johnson, he's obviously, like, mixed. He's half black, half white, or whatever. But he's, like, really, you know, fair-skinned. You know what I'm saying? He's light, light. So I was thinking at the time, it's like, and and the chick that, of course, you know, her name is Papa Dix. That's not a black name. So, it's, you know, he proposed to a white chick on national television. So I was like, man, good thing, like, he's, like, light, light, light light-skinned. Because ain't too many people don't like that. It's gonna be some people that are upset with that. And but you know, with, looked at it and he was like, "Yeah, I received a lot of death threats." You know what I'm saying? Uh, for proposing to a white woman on national TV and everything. It's like is old, this is not fucking yeah. This isn't this isn't 1950. You know, this is yeah. 1950. Way back when uh, bowl game. This is 2007, bro. And this is a, a, a light skin proposing to a, a white chick. I could just hear them now, though. It's like, them naggers, they can win us some football games, but I, how dare they propose to our women's on national TV like that? <laughs> Once they again, mean, that is Idaho. Never boom. Man. There you go. There you go. So, I mean, you know, but I did go, you know, we did go back and look at it and, you know, uh, Ian and Chrissy, they're still married. You know, they're still together. They're living in uh, Boise still. He's a, a State Farm agent now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, he's he's putting a stamp all over the town. You know, he don't have to buy shit in that town ever again. I would say, yeah, why would you leave there? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then one other interesting fact is uh, they're actually Boise State. They've uh, sold their rights uh, to the to the like all their footage and everything of that season uh, to make it into a motion picture for a movie and shit. So, oh, damn. Yeah, that's, that's badass. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, within the next couple of years, we'll get, like, a, a a movie out of this, you know, showing everything that happened behind the scenes and, yeah. you know, shit like that. So. Side note on that, like, going on, just going off of that, did y'all happen to see the preview to the Sean Payton movie? Yes, bro. Uh-huh. Yes, bro. With um, fuck, what's his name? With Kevin, Kevin James? James. Kevin James, yes. dog. That is oh, it's know, so yeah. fucking weird, and it's like based yeah. on a true story, ain't it? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know what the hell they did. So the whole premise of the movie is Sean. You know, you remember when the Saints got in trouble for Bounty Gate? Yes, where they were taking the, the like putting hits out. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So. So Sean Payton gets suspended and he can't coach. So he's basically forced to spend time with his kid again and his kids on the football team. And so he basically like ends up coaching his kids like junior high football team. And they go from just being this shitty team to a really good team. Apparently that's what it looks like to me. But yeah, yeah. What the f- yeah but Kevin James is playing Sean Payton, which is fucking hilarious. First of all, fucking hilarious. And then like the preview <laughs> makes it seem like the difference. Sean Payton was like a deadbeat dad almost. Yeah. And then they like make it into like this like Disney comedy. Not you know how the Disney movies all play out. Like Yeah. I just find it hilarious. It's like it's a Disney movie, but are they gonna explain why like he couldn't coach the New Orleans Saints? Yeah. Like basically we was putting money on niggas' heads. Basically, yeah, he's like, let's take this nigga out the game. <laughs> like, like if they were gonna make it, they should have made it like any given any given Sunday. You know? don't, fucking, <laughs> don't try to sugarcoat this shit. Go go dark with it. <laughs> yeah, man. Wouldn't the better story to be how their town gets flooded 
and they come back and win this. Right? How do you how do you make this story before <laughs> you make the, the coming back from Katrina? Boom. Yeah. That's, there's your title right there. How we just literally came up with that in five seconds, and they made this fucking thing first. What the fuck, yeah. bro? You think his kids like? Thank you, Jeremy Shockey, for snitching <laughs> on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. Yeah, I forgot about that shit. I saw that shit though. This, this yeah, that one, and then the uh, what was the other football? Oh, the the Kurt Warner movie. The Kurt Warner shit looked like it might go kind of hard. I ain't gonna lie to yeah. you. I, I don't know what, what it, if it's out yet or when it comes out or what, but I, I want to. It check came it out, out on Christmas. Oh, it came out already. Yeah, it came out on Christmas. Oh, okay, all right. What's it on? It, it's in the movies, still. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, um, oldies. Uh, unfortunately, that's. I said it's um, it's closing time. It's closing. Time. Closing time One last shot of liquid Pack your fixes Coming to an end Closing time Say goodbye to Dizzle Stacks and Money Because we're out this bitch Money B Got anything for us For the Wodies before we get out of here no, nothing much, man. I've been, you know, I've been doing my traveling and shit. So it's a bit too busy, you know. Just trying, trying not to eat so much pizza, you know. Dodging Corona. Um, <laughs> other than that, just everything you got going on, man, you know, behind 100%. So I'll let you run with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actor, actor. Surprisingly, I don't have nothing. Nothing tonight. I mean, no wise words of wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they only get that once a month. They only get that once oh. a month. So don't get don't get too spoiled. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> How are we going to live our lives? <laughs> oh shit! Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. I got one. I got one. Okay, you got one. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, Where I don't want to. I, I don't want to spoil the Woldies, but okay, all right, all right. Do not touch bulbs with your bare hands. Automotive bulbs. Your headlights, you need to be wearing gloves. The oil mm. in your hands will help burn out the filament faster. Mm. So, yeah. mm. And there's and there's some Woldy out there that needed to know that. Yeah, there's, don't do it. There's there's definitely a Woldy out there. Try listening to it and you know, will bother like, oh damn. <laughs> as as they're changing the bulb. As yeah, they're changing. Open. As they're opening the package, let me get gloves. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, hell oh, yeah. Um, good shit, good shit. Um, and I don't have much, you know. what I'm saying we 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 talked about it a little bit last episode, but you know we got some things coming up for y'all in 2022. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, what I'm saying we're just keeping the creative juices flowing down here, bread baby, and baby. So, uh, so yeah, man. Uh, let's go ahead and just knock out this closing time shot, man. Let's, 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 let's do it. All right, we ready? All right, here we go. Uh, Money B, cheers to you, my friend. Uh, cheers to Hector, Hector, my friend. Uh, cheers to um, who? Want to cheers to first? All right, let's cheers to uh, the Tennessee Volunteers from what was it, 1997, 98? I don't know. Who cares? Um, cheers to uh, the Boise State uh, Broncos uh, from the 2006, 2017. Um, who else we want to cheers to? Cheers to Dallas Cowboys fans because we need all of it right now. Um, any anybody else? Am I missing out on anybody? Um, yeah, Aaliyah. Cheers, cheers to Aaliyah. Cheers to Aaliyah. We'll do that. We'll finish it out there. And cheers to the Wodies in the Way Back When podcast. Cheers, my friends. I know who I want to take me back. I know. Wody. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Way Back When Podcast. A reflection upon the Golden Era. Our Golden Era. We'll holler at y'all next week. Deuce. Bless up. I know who I want to take me back. I know who I want to take me back. I know who I want to take me back. Way back when